Welcome to another lesson video of Jiggy Math. Today, our lesson is all about percents. What is a percent? It is another way of showing a fraction whose denominator is 100. For example, 45 over 100 is equal to 45%. The word percent comes from the Latin phrase percentum, which means for every hundred. In mathematics, we use this symbol 4%. Now let's try to learn how to express parts of a whole as fractions and percentages. Here's a 100 squared grid. 15 out of 100 parts are colored, while 85 out of 100 parts are not colored. Let's express this in terms of fraction. 15 over 100 of the large square is colored. And in terms of percent, this is equal to 15%. So we say 15% of the large square is colored. Now what about the number of parts that are not colored? How do we express that in fraction? It's 85 over 100. And in terms of percent, it's equal to 85%. Here's another 100 square grid. As you can see, there are 73 colored parts. And 27 out of 100 parts are not colored. Again, let's express these in terms of fractions and percentages. Blank of the large square is colored. The answer is 73 out of 100 is colored. And this is also equal to 73%. Now what about the part that are parts that are not colored? It's 27 over 100 or simply 27%. So let's try to do this as quickly as we can. 49 over 100 is the same as 49%. 71 over 100 is 71%. 56 hundredths is the same as 56%. And 9 hundredths is equivalent to 9%. Remember, we can express a part of a whole as a fraction and as a percentage. What about these examples? As you notice, the given are expressed in terms of fraction, but the denominators are not equal to 100. So to express a fraction as a percentage, we can first rewrite it as an equivalent fraction with denominator of 100 such as like this. So to change two tenths with a fraction whose denominator is 100, we just need to multiply it by 10. 2 times 10 will give us 20. 10 times 10 is over 100. So here we can say that 2 tenths is equal to 20 over 100 or simply 20%. Let's try it one more time. 9 tenths. Let's write this as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Here, you just need to multiply it by 10 and 10. So 9 times 10 is 90. 10 times 10 is over 100. So 9 tenths is equal to 90 over 100 or 90%. For 3 fifths, do you know how to express this as a fraction with a denominator of 100? Yes, you just need to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 20. And you will get 60 over 100, which is equal to 60%. And for the last item, 1 fourth, to be expressed into a fraction with the denominator of 100, you just need to multiply the fraction by 25 and 25. 
So 1 times 25 is 25, 4 times 25 is 100. So the fraction form is 25 over 100, and the final answer in percent would be 25%. Now this time, let's take a look at this skill. Let's learn how to express percents as fractions. Observe carefully this 100 squared grid. So as you can see, 15 out of 100 is colored. Or 15% is equal to 15 over 100. Now remember, when you are writing a fraction, always try it. To give your answer in simplest form. So 15 over 100 in simplest form is 3 over 20. Let's try another example. 60% is equal to 60 over 100. In lowest term, it's 3 fifths. What about this one? Do you know how to express this in fraction? 70% is equal to 70 over 100, which is also equal to 7 tenths. And the next one, we got 36%. Change this into fraction. It's the same as 36 over 100. Remember, don't forget to simplify your answer. And you will get 9 over 25. Now, try answering this on your own. Ninety-five percent over a hundred is equal to nineteen over twenty. Fifty percent is the same as fifty over a hundred or one half. Forty-six percent is the same as 46 over 100, or 23 over 50. And lastly, we have 68%, which is the same as 68 over 100, or 17 over 25. Were you able to express all your answers in simplest form correctly? Let's do this quickly. 75% is equal to 75 over 100 or 3 fourths. 28% is the same as 28 over 100. What is it in simplest form? It's 7 out of 25. What about 84%? What is the simplest form of 84%? It's 21 out of 25. And for 85%, it is 17 out of 20. This ends our video on percent.